Okay, so we've installed everything we need to install. Now it's time to start writing some Python code. So let's just open a file here in Sublime Text, and I'm going to import that thing we just installed in the last video. So my SQL.connector, right? So we want to save this right away as a Python file. So come up here and click Save As, and navigate to that directory we created a while back. It was in our C MySQL folder. And let's just call this, I don't know, database. That's fine. And come down here to all files and programs or whatever. And look for Python right here. Select that, Python, and then click Save. Uh, another way you might do it, hit Cancel here. Come up here to View, and then Syntax, and then scroll down to Python. You can see now the colors change a little bit. So now Sublime knows this is Python. So now when we come up here and hit File Save As, it already, see, it's already selected Python for us. Just another way to do it. So again, let's scroll down to our C, MySQL folder. Let's call this database and save it. Okay, so we've imported the MySQL connector module that we just installed. Now, if you had to, if you try this and it doesn't work, and then you have to go back and pip install MySQL connector dash Python, or pip install MySQL connector dash Python dash RF, you can still get away with just importing MySQL dot connector. You don't have to import MySQL dot connector dot Python, for instance. I believe that's the case. If if you run it and it still doesn't work, try doing that. You never know. Okay, so. Uh, now we need to create an instance of our database that's running in the background. Remember when we installed the database, it fired up, it initialized, and it's just sort of in the background, excuse me, running. Now we need to connect to it. So let's create a, an instance of variable, sort of speak, and let's call this, I don't know, my database, and set it equal to this mysql.connector.connect. Now we need to pass in a few variables. So we need to pass in, at this point, three variables. The first one is host, and then a comma. The next one is user, comma. And then finally, password, P-A-S-S-W-D. Two quotation marks. And then I don't think you have to put a comma at the end, but I always do just in case, because we're going to be adding things in the future. And if we forget to put it on there in the future, we'll get an error. So I just put it on there now. So Host, this is the URL of your database. So most of the time when you're working in actual web development or something, your database is up in the cloud somewhere, and you'll have a URL for that database, like 192.168.40.9 or something, right? We're running our database on our local computer, on our own computer, so we can just type in local host here, right? Now, remember when we set up the database, our user was root, so that's root. And that password we picked when we set up the database was password123, right? So that's pretty much it. We can now connect using just that. So to prove that this worked, we can print out this my DB variable that we just created. So if we save this, head over to our little bash terminal thing and pwd to make sure we're in the C MySQL directory, ls to list the stuff we can see oh there's that database.py file so now let's just run this thing so python database.py and this is how you run python programs you type in python and then the name of the program uh, so this, boom we get this mysql.connector.connection.mysqlconnection.object so this is a we've created an object here and this is just a, a url not a url it's a an address in memory where this thing is sitting so this means absolutely nothing to us, except it means that it worked. It means the database was set up correctly. It means we were able to connect to it from our MySQL or from our Python program. And uh, we haven't done anything. We haven't entered any data or queried any data or anything like that. But this is important. We now know it works. So this is very cool. And really, this is as easy as it gets. I mean, it's not any more complicated to connect to a MySQL database from a Python program. You just import this MySQL connector thing, create a connection here, add in your host name, your username, and your password, and then boom, you're connected. 
So now it's just a matter of learning the different commands in Python to, for instance, uh, create a new table, then to add data to the table, then to retrieve data from that table, order it in different ways, things like that, all the basic database stuff you want to do. And that's what we're going to spend sort of the rest of the course learning how to do. But the meat and potatoes of this stuff is done. We've created a database, we've connected to it, and we're good to go. So in the next video, I think we'll look at the MySQL Workbench and sort of get a, a sort of an understanding of what is all available to us in our database. And that's a good way to look at it through the MySQL Workbench because it's a graphical user interface, and that's really cool. So we'll, I think we'll start to look at that in the next video.